The first step towards achieving your dreams is having the right coach. Get the best education with forensic classes by Diksha and make your net forensic exam dreams come true. Download the app now. हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आज की वीडियो में हम एक बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट नोटिफिकेशन डिस्कस कर रहे हैं एंड ये नोटिफिकेशन आया है गवर्नमेंट ऑफ तेलंगाना पुलिस डिपार्टमेंट फॉर फोरेंसिक साइंस लेबोरेटरी ये रिलीज करी गई है नाइनटीन सेप्टेम्बर टू को एंड दिस इज फॉर द नोटिफिकेशन एंड इट्स अ नोटिफिकेशन फॉर रिक्रूटमेंट ऑन द पोस्ट ऑफ तेलंगाना स्टेट फोरेंसिक लेबोरेटरी ऑन आउटसोर्सिंग बेसिस फॉर पीरियड ऑफ वन ईयर Only under Safe City Project Hyderabad. So Safe City Project Hyderabad के अंदर outsourcing basis पे एक साल के लिए they have requirements for scientific officers, scientific assistants in Hyderabad State Forensic Laboratory. Vacancies discuss करते हैं So in Telangana State Forensic Laboratory, Hyderabad invites application for the eligible candidates. through online mode only so it's online mode only in the prescribed performa from 19 9 to 2022 to 19 10 2022 so so you have a window here ki 19 september se 9th october tak you can fill your forms and aapko forms kaise bharne hain they have already given the information in this notification that how you have to fill the forms So let's discuss the number of vacancies and departments. So, pehla department hai scientific officer DNA and number of posts are two. So the remuneration is forty five thousand in INR and then we have scientific assistant DNA. So first is scientific officer DNA, then scientific assistant DNA, and we have number of post four. Then we have four number of post and salary would be forty thousand INR. then lab assistant dna so in lab assistant dna we have two posts and the salary is 30000 inr so these are the three vacancies in the department of dna then we have scientific officer in biology division three vacancies for salary would be 45000 inr then we have scientific assistant in biology division three post 40000 salary then lab assistant in biology division four post 30000 salary then scientific assistant then scientific officer cyber forensic division two post 45000 inr salary scientific assistant cyber forensic division six vacancies 40000 salary then lab assistant cyber forensic division two vacancies and 30000 salary then scientific assistant in chemical division we have four vacancies number of post four and salary is 40000 inr so these are some of the so these are the name of post department of the laboratory then you have post code so ye jo post code at this post code is really very important while filling the form so whatever division you are interested in you have to fill the post code according to your division and then you have to fill the form the rule of reservation shall be followed post wise division wise starting from the rows to point number 1 cycle 1 as indicated below fact qualified candidates will be taken on interview directly so really very important notification here if you are fact qualified you can just directly go for interview no no need to give the examination for these posts so if you are fact qualified i'm repeating it again if you are fact qualified you can directly go for interview eligibility criteria here you have educational qualification area so scientific officer dna is required you must have passed msc biology or genetics or zoology or botany or microbiology biotechnology biochemistry forensic science with specialization is bio zero or dna with minimum 65% of aggregate in any recognized university under ugc okay the candidates with post graduation is forensic science biochemistry should be studied biology serology dna zoology chemistry zoology biochemistry biotechnology at graduation level then we have scientific assistant so it's kind of similar you must have msc biology zo biology zoology botany microbiology biotechnology genetics forensic science with biology with 60% of aggregate marks 
So here we have 65% of aggregate marks. Here we have 60% of aggregate marks. And for lab assistant, it is minimum. And for lab assistant, you must have BSc with biology, biology, zoology, biochemistry, biotechnology, BSc, BSc forensic science. All the candidates are eligible. And you must have botany, zoology in your curriculum. Okay, next we have in biology division so again you need to have 65 percent of aggregate marks if you have msc if you have msc from biology genetic zoology microbiology biotechnology forensic science with specialization of bio zero dna etc you are eligible for this post next we have 60 percent minimum requirement of 60 percent as scientific assistant for lab assistant you are for lab assistant, BSc is required in biology, zoology, chemistry, biotechnology, BSc forensic science, etc. With, with one subject as biology, zoology in a curriculum. Then we have in cyber forensic, cyber forensic division, you need to have MSc. M.Tech, Cyber Forensics, ke saath, MCA in forensic science, computer, etc. with 65% of aggregate marks. So in your MCA forensic science candidate should have BSc in physical in physics in physical sciences or computer as specialization. Here we have 60% of aggregate marks. The subjects are same. And for lab assistant, if you have BCA, you are eligible to become lab assistant. Okay. Then we have one more post of scientific assistant in chemical division. So if you have MSc with chemistry or forensic science with chemistry as specialization, you are required to have 60%, you are required to have 60% of aggregate from any recognized institution and you need to have chemistry or toxicology as one of your subject in the graduation level or in the in, or in your curriculum. Okay, fine. So, ye, so these are the name of post and qualification which is required. Next important thing, these things you have to check this out by yourself. Here we have application fee. For scientific officer, application fee is 500 for OC, BC and others then 300 rupees for SDSCs of Telangana state. Only for Telangana state and the, uh, and the candidates who all are not from Telangana, they have to fill the form as general candidates. Mode of payment is with mode of payment would be demand draft to the favor of director to the favor of director forensic science laboratory Hyderabad. If application is received without demand draft, it will be invariably rejected. No correspondence to this regard will be entertained. So, कुछ भी नहीं हो सकता अगर आपने demand draft के बिना application भेज दिया है तो. Then we have some instructions. If you want to apply for this, if you want to apply for this, you have to submit the application form. Last date of submission of application form is on or before 10-10-2022, 5, up to 5 p.m. If you are sending your application, the envelope containing the application and its enclosure should be super scribed with application for the post name. Post of name of the post, post code, etc. The address would be on point. The address should be written. The director of Telangana State Forensic Science Laboratory, Red Hills, beside Neil of Year Hospital, Hospital Hyderabad. And this is the code. You have to put the address like this in your application form. And you have to send it by post. So next important thing in the notification is the documents to be attached to the application. So first SSC matriculation certificate and its equivalent certificate and its equivalent certificate. Then we have master degree certificate from any university in India which is established or incorporated by under the central act or provincial act or state act or any institution which is recognized under UGC or equivalent qualification. Then we have community certificate issued by the computer the community certificate which is issued by the competent authority of government of Telangana for age relaxation if you need age relaxation. Then latest non layer certificate issued by the government of Telangana for BC candidates if they claim reservation in the section. If you are applying for the reservation you have to give the certificate. Study bona fide certificate. 
study bona fide certificate from class 1st to class 7th only then we have then we have previous year work experience certificate internship certificate if you have any and all these certificates should be self attested and then demand draft towards the fee payment and along with all these you have to send the set of photocopies and you have to send the photocopies that too with self attested okay this the photocopies would be self attested next important thing is age limit the minimum age limit is 18 years and upper age and upper age limit is 34 years okay it is counted by from the july 1st 2022 as per the rule 12 of state and subordinate service the upper age limit will be relaxable up to 5 years if a candidate belong to a backward class or scheduled class or scheduled right and next important thing is your written examination if you are not fact qualified you have to give a written examination for this so you will get the admit cards or hall tickets before examination and we have some important instruction for written test first is the application will be shortlisted first the applications will be shortlisted at the application will be shortlisted as per the qualification and desirable qualification which is specified then candidates have to appear for written examination in interview in the division and the post with in the post they have applied for the date and place of the examination will be continued the date of exam the date and place of examination will be communicated to the candidates of due course and intimation letter will be sent to the candidates for appearing in the for, for appearing in the written examination through given mail intimation letter will be sent to the candidates attendant to oral interview test which they should bring while for oral interview the paper pattern shall be division wise as mentioned above so different different divisions will have different types of question papers and different areas of questions the candidates who satisfy themselves as they are eligible for that one division can apply for more than one division through a fresh and separate through a fresh and separate application duly enclosing all the prescribed documents and payment for prescribed fees so if you feel like you are fulfilling eligibility criteria of two divisions you can separately fill the other form as well and final selection of the candidates will be made strictly based on the merit list as obtained by the as obtained by them the score of written examination the score of oral interview so yes everyone that is the notification which is really very important and if you are not fact qualified you have to give the examination i am going to discuss the syllabus in the next video so stay tuned thank you so much for watching this video have a great day ahead take care of yourselves and see you guys in the next video till then take care bye